All right, so today is the review of this Danby Danby um, dishwasher. It is the model DDW621WDB. Now, these dishwashers, I don't really see big reviews online. Um, I only see just kind of like here and there, just to kind of like uh, show how it works and things like that. But I kind of want to do a full review. Now, in the box, it does come with a packet. Um, that shows you instructions. Here's how you're supposed to be um, arranging the dishes. So as you see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, I'm not gonna lie, it's a little bit small, but for me and um, another person, it's actually not that bad uh, when you're looking at living in an apartment. Now, um, this is basically the full setup. I just have it sitting on the counter. I'm in an apartment and then it's just hooked up to my um, faucet. Now, <clears throat> if you've never had a dishwasher, I probably would say this is a life changer. Um, ever since I bought this, probably two months ago, I have not washed a single dish. Um, <laughs> tedious to say, but I'm quite lazy. So, um, something like this is definitely, definitely really, really, really great if you have, like, kids in dorm, you know, in apartments, going to school, or just kind of, like, you living by yourself, you don't really like to do dishes. I've never had a dishwasher in my life, so this is definitely a luxury for me. I paid $230 for this, and then I bought any extra, what is it called, soap and detergent and things like that. Um, you can put, like, the ones that are like this, which is basically... Um, the solid uh, detergent or you could buy like the, the powder one I personally enjoy this one it's a lot easier it's a lot better to store um, there's a lot more uh, what is it called you don't really need to measure um, so, and you could get definitely a lot more out of the wash um, of course you do have your jet dry you need this jet dry so your dishes do come out clean and it doesn't have water spots so basically, the review, I would definitely fill this thing up already. Um, I'm definitely going to show you here. I paused it. I forgot I was going to do a review. Obviously, um, you can see that I like to eat with chopsticks. So basically, this is um, what it is as right now. It's actually quite full. You're not supposed to fill up this full, but I turn it to the maximum disc capacity, the maximum wash capacity. So it washes all the dishes in general, So which is totally fine for me. i never seen any... Sometimes if I stack them up too much, then obviously you see that's not clean. But as long as you just kind of put and leave like, you know, rooms for it to actually spray up into it, then you actually are fine. Now, you definitely see that there's actually a lot in here. Um, and that's basically it. I mean, you just put it in just like a regular dishwasher. And if you never had a dishwasher, definitely follow these instructions here. It definitely kind of tell you what to do but once you kind of get in the groove and get used to how you like to do it how you like to put things in it then it's definitely a lot easier um when you're looking at these uh right here this is basically uh, the detergent portion right here is actually where i put a little bit of the finish powder and then also that uh, solid detergent the reason being is that i do have quite a bit, a bit of dishes in there i don't know a lot of some people might not want to put that much but to me i just want it to be quite clean since i kind of jammed it pretty full your jet dry does go here nobody ever said on how to do this um and you basically pull this up and you pour um, the jet dry the liquid into here until you kind of see it coming out and not, not going in anymore so which means that it's full so I just kind of like leave it there and plug it in um, you don't have to fill this every time on like this you have to do it every every uh, every time you run the dishwasher but this is probably maybe a month or so then you just fill it up once which is pretty good right now I put it on pause um, I forgot that, that I was gonna do a review so I had put it on pause which is the pause button you press this button this is literally uh, to operate like to go or start and to pause the cycle if you do need to use like the um, knob or your um, your faucet uh, right here is basically choosing the program um, the instructions didn't come really well with the um, explanation of all this but um, I kind of figured it out myself when you're looking at this you're looking at um, really you know uh, this is like basically the longest cycle it doesn't tell me how long it actually goes for which is kind of stupid um, but 
for the money I pay for, this is actually not bad at all. I'd rather pay less and just kind of have it run by itself. I probably project this is probably an hour and 30 minutes. This is probably an hour. Um, and this is obviously for like pots and pans, but I mean, it's just basically a longer cycle. Um, so it washes a lot better. This is the normal cycle. This is normally what it's set it at manually when you actually turn it on. This is fine when a lot of people, you just put things in and just kind of turn it on. Um, when you don't have too much dishes or just have an okay amount of dishes. And then of course it just goes less from there. Um, and then this is obviously rinse and this is when it sits and dries. The only thing I didn't know about this cycle is if you... When you are done using this um, and it doesn't wash anymore, it sits. Uh, it sits like this for, I probably would say like 25 minutes, 30 minutes. And then it starts to beep and when it beeps, it's done. So after it done, gets done washing for an hour, it sits for another 25 to 15 minutes and then it beeps. Then it lets you know that it's done. So when it does that, you can actually open it and you just put the stuff away. Um, and it did, it never said that in the instructions, so I'm kind of like, what the hell is it doing? Is it not working? So basically that, the energy is actually very good. It doesn't use too much energy. Obviously, uh, it has that energy star there, which is quite great. Um, water, don't worry about the water. If you do have a water bill, don't worry about it. It actually pumps up water three times, I believe. The first time is it just kind of like gets something soaked. That's all the water go. The second time, um, then it uses it to kind of clean and then do the... Um, uh, detergent and then the third time it just rinse so it only pumps water three times I probably would say maybe a gallon probably like I'm I'm I'm, I'm like in my head I'm probably say it's like maybe a gallon maybe even less so it actually you reuses the water quite well it washes through it's actually really good um obviously all the reviews online you've seen how you operate this um when you basically turn on like the water um you definitely want to turn on the water first um, let's see, make sure. So you want to get the water in as hot as possible, um, so you don't have to worry about the machine making it hot. I don't see that the machine actually makes it hot. Um, from what I know, because I always just use it, make sure that it's actually really, really hot. My water is super, super hot. I literally can't burn myself, um, which is quite crazy. It's a, I'm sh and it's like literally almost at boiling point. So. <clears throat> put that on there's little really like a little um, lever here you just push it down and you stick it up um this nozzle comes with it so if you're worrying about if it comes with a nozzle it does come with a nozzle um and that's actually uh what is it called universal so it should fit everybody's um basically you just put it in turn the hot water on after you run it for a couple seconds and here right here this is the knob that everybody always talks about you know um, you can actually press it if you do need just a little bit of water to raise your hands or whatever um, or, and then you, uh, when you're going to be, when you're done using it, you just press it again. So you release the pressure so it doesn't spray everywhere. Um, I've no, somebody came over and they literally just yanked this down for it to come off, not knowing that you actually have to press this. So I was actually quite mad, but I explained it to them. This first hose on top actually draws the water in. Now this, this hose, I'm not going to lie, it's actually very, very, very freaking stiff. And when I first got it. Um, but after a while of use and it gets used to the hot water, it's not stiff anymore, which is great. That was really a downfall for me. I'm like, why the hell is it so stiff? I can't do anything with it. But this takes the hot water or takes the water into the machine. And then this person, this person right here releases the water out, which is actually great. I haven't seen anything clogged. I do have quite a bit of things sometimes in there that just kind of like get lazy and don't like, you know, rinse it out. Now, the key to this is that they tell you, they tell you not to rinse it out too much or else there's no point of putting it into the dishwasher for it to wash. So I just kind of rinse it out or just shake all the stuff out, the bigger stuff, just throw it in there. Rice, um, small grains and stuff like that is totally fine. They always come out of the hose, which is great. Um, that's basically the machine. Um, I don't really know what this is. I don't really do anything on that. Um, the other thing that I probably would need to tell you guys is that it does have a little, um, it only has one spinner. So this one, you know, the bigger ones, they all have two spinners, one on the bottom and one on top, but these ones only have one spinner. So you have to make sure to separate the dishes so when it sprays up, it has room to fall back down and then clean the top as well. Um, there is the drain right thing right here. Uh, I don't know if you see right there, that little thing. Um, when you actually twist that and then once it twists, it actually can pull out and you could throw the rubbishes and things that away. You could just kind of clean that. Make sure to clean that probably once a month, once every two weeks. Um, if you guys wash a lot like I do. Um, 
what I like to personally do with this machine is that you do see that there is actually uh, what is it called like this this mushy stuff like basically kind of like a plastic seal this seal I like to clean a lot um, obviously you want to kind of keep it last as long as you can because it does leak water if you don't have that seal um, as clean or like you know if you have stuff on it I always want to clean these edges because that helps make the seal actually lock in um, this is actually I think this is stainless steel um, it's not heavy this machine is okay it's I'm a guy so it's actually not that heavy for me but if you're a girl um, and you're maybe you're a little bit more petite I probably would say like have somebody kind of help you carry it um, but for me it was actually fine for installation maybe because I was excited and it was in general and I just pick it up and just put it up here um the countertop is quite uh this portion is quite large you do have to measure I recommend you guys taking um looking at like the measurement I got this on Amazon um look at the measurement on Amazon uh when you're looking at this unit um, and then obviously grab your own measuring tool and kind of measure your countertops I've seen it actually go underneath these as well I was lucky that it actually worked quite well for me because literally you see over here is literally centimeters and then over here since it is uneven it's literally nothing um, it is quite lightweight um, you can actually push it and it actually moves a lot of people that I do see that does not have enough counter space on top of there, they just put it on like a little rolling rack and they just put it on the side and then when they want to use it, they kind of want to just push it back out and use it. <clears throat> I don't think there's anything else. I've kind of done the full review. Um, that is basically it. I mean, I've loved this thing. It's definitely great. These buttons, I probably wouldn't allow a children to use this because these buttons, they're, they actually are kind of uh, shaky. So I don't think they will last too long. But at the same time, um, I probably would say I recommend adults only using this because A, obviously you're dealing with hot water. B, um, those buttons, they don't seem pretty sturdy. So just use them delicately. Always clean this machine. And I, I, I love this. I've never... I'm, this is definitely one of the best investments. I haven't used any, I haven't washed any dishes. I put everything in there and it's literally okay. Everything, like everything from um, work, um, oh, work utensils, as in like, you know, what, what I take to work uh, to eat, um, even like metals, stuff like that. I put it in there, uh, plastics, plastic spoons. It doesn't seem like it's melting anything. So it's definitely a good temperature that it's actually washing. So it's very, very exciting. I um, have this for a couple months now. And like I said, it is definitely life changing. It's not bad in price. If you really think about it, you know, spending $230 to never wash dishes ever again. Count me in. So this is my review. Thank you for watching. I'm sorry if it's a little bit shaky, but um, have a good day. Bye.